Hi, I'm Travis Wirtz of Wirtz Machine Works, and this is what I call a doubler plate. These are magnetic plates, and I'm going to show you how I use them on the grinder. So, these little boogers are strong, and um, they'll hold the steel plate to my work wrist. And I'm going to do the same basic hollow grind analogy, or table saw hollow grinding analogy, that I did before. So, I'm going to slap my magnets down. Now, they're strong little boogers, uh, but that's what you want. So now my doubler plate's already hollow ground, so it's going to come up on the wheel. Nice. And so now I'm stuck down here. These magnets don't hardly give. And the nice thing about this is I can slide the doubler plate forwards and backwards, and I don't change the depth that this wheel protrudes through the table. So if you're looking at this, if I were to try to grind this, you see how far up I'm on the table, and that's because of that gap. So now I'm going to finagle that a little closer, and I can center this up. But essentially, I'm just kind of wiggling this around, and you could tap it around with a mallet or a block of wood or something. But anyway, now I have my gap very close taken up here. And so I can do essentially the same analogy where I drag on through. But now I have a much bigger work table. And so if I were to do a double edge on this, I'd be able to because I'll keep the reference all the way to my tip. So let's check our setup. And the setup is basically, it's just kind of touching about where that line is. Let me make sure I'm seeing the right line. And uh, yeah, essentially that's just gonna take us a little bit thinner, but. What I can do very easily is just tap that out ever so slightly, and now it's ever so slightly less. So now that I got this work table, I'm going to go ahead and bring this hollow grind back a little further and maybe turn it into kind of a sub hilt, I don't know, just to demonstrate the purpose. So. Now, if you're ever grinding and you want to see if you're grinding the right place, a little bit of sharpening will really help you. Now, this is just going to tell me if I'm grinding it thinner or bringing it back further. I'm not quite as deep. So, let's make a little adjustment. right there, and I bet this sharp will clean up now. So you can kind of see our, that was our other hollow grind, and here's our other, so we actually have a two, a two going. But that'll clean up. Now, I have a little burr or something over here, but that side's cleaning up, trade me side.
Now I'm, I'm going to go ahead and even up my plunges. So I'm going to creep this over. continue on another video but I want to adjust the profile so well anyway that's it for this video while I figure out what I'm going to do with this knife blade thanks <laughs>